we only have two hours to fish just because uh, I don't want to leave my vacation family for too, too long. <laughs> I'm starting with a dry fly. I've got probably a size 12 um, stimulator on there just to see if any of these cutthroat trout are looking up um, at the end of April here. And we're just walking down a nice little creek bed. Oh, into some still green water. You know, what's interesting is I thought this creek was flowing out of a lake, but it's actually flowing into a lake. So anyway, um, I don't want to get too close just in case there's any cutties near me, but here's our stimulator. Got an orange belly, green hot spot. Sorry if you guys get wet. All right, let's do a stream crossing up here. I think it's time to put on a driver, guys. Let's go. So I elected for a 0.5 inch airlock, and then about two and a half feet down, I've got this small um, Bunny Royale uh, fly tied by trout flies in Utah. If you're from the USA, you can pick that up. It's a trout slayer. I'm still working on catching trout in the uh, winter and spring in uh, British Columbia. But uh, it's my mission that I will eventually catch fish <laughs> on all of his flies. Okay, I don't want to get too far downstream. There's a bit of a section upstream I want to fish, so. Okay, folks, Sexy Waltz Worm, size 14, I believe. That's from my buddy, Eric Leslie. Uh, he does sell to US and Canada um, through his online store, which I'll also link in the description, Driftstone. Um, so both Trout Flies and uh, Eric are good buddies of mine in the fly fishing YouTube world, but they also just both make really good quality flies. And are uh, and just really good dudes. So check out their channels. Go check out their flies. Buy them if you're eligible, and uh, catch more trout. There's a deep bend here, and I don't really know what I can do with that. Uh, that brush was too dense for me to get through. So I've actually got like another 45 minutes left. I'm gonna drive up the road a little bit. We're gonna try to hit the mouth of the lake where the creek comes in. So. Okay, plans changed one more time. Um, where the mouth of the creek hits the lake. It's quite deep off the road. I didn't feel like going for a hike and wasting time. 
So I went uh, up river a little bit. Nice little run under this bridge. There's a huge tail out down here. Oh, we hooked the bridge. That's a nice line right there. Could be a fish under that rock. Come on. Oh, you're killing me. I was hoping the cutties would be a little further up the creek, but I'm not seeing much. Well, any, I'm not seeing any activity. But maybe I'm just not doing what they want right now. I think it's really deep in front of me. I don't much like that. Where's my indicator? Damn it. Yeah, when you don't see your indicator, it's either really good or really bad. Well, Eric, I don't think I'm getting this back, buddy. Sorry. No way. I got it back, no way. Well, shit, I'm in the middle of the river now. Guys, I have half a mind to stick you underwater here and see if there's any fish home. Work our way up this beautiful little run. It's the Indy. All right, guys, seven feet of uh, T8 sink tip, and we're gonna strip a uh, shiny little bait fish imitation just through the depths of this run. Well, guys, thanks for watching my videos. I continue to struggle trying to catch fish, but. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. I try to go fishing and post a video about once a week. So, take care of yourselves and good luck fishing. Bye. Might as well stick you guys in the water before I go. See if there's any fish home.